Babajide Kolade Otitoju, an award-winning journalist, while speaking on the weekly edition on, of the popular program Journalist Hangout on TVC News, stunningly reacts to the EFCC statement saying 2.2 billion naira was allegedly spent on prayers to defeat the terrorism in the country. Babajide, while speaking, said, I don't believe that story at all. To me, I feel it is just a way for the politicians to cut away money from the Nigeria Treasury. If at all they want us to believe their story, they should name those clerics who collected such huge amounts of money to pray against terrorism. According to reports, it was one of the early of the former NSC, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, who said this during his cross-referencing in the court. As for me, Babajide, I believe the story is a cooked one and deserve more thorough investigation instead of taking it like that. Imagine a country like Nigeria that is borrowing money from Brazil and these same people we also hear that we spend such huge amounts of money on prayers. It is very shameful to us. I am very sure no pastor or imam will collect such huge amounts of money and say he wants to pray against insurgency. The EFCC should continue investigating the matter because it is obvious that this money was only embezzled. How do you expect Nigerians to believe a story like this? It is uncalled for. The only way you can convince Nigerians is by naming those clerics, which I'm sure they won't be able to name anybody. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I'm, I'm even surprised that a this uh, journalist is saying he does not believe he does not whatever of course that has been the end thing a lot of things have been going on and they will be telling you oh uh, some people want to topple the government of uh, somebody some people oh are looting and we mean why they had the looters when you're talking about real looters the people who are in government they are the real looters because we have been hearing cases and they've been we've been hearing a lot of money missing from the coffer of the of the country at the end of the day who are the people? Is this ordinary Nigerian on the on the streets that are stealing this money? We have a lot of them that they are still on their cases. They have a lot of them. Some of them they've relieved them of their job, and yet they will tell you, "Oh, the masses are doing this and misbehaving." They are turning everything back to the masses. It's unfortunate. Well, what do we have to say? What do we have to do? I don't even know what you people think that we we have to do because every day we hear such stories everybody will just okay everybody will still move on because at the end of the day they are not going to do anything everyone is just frustrated apart from the ones who are in government they are the ones who are enjoying this whole thing some have enjoyed them some are enjoying this now and some are still on the waiting list to come back or to come and do their own bidding they call it a national cake how do we move on in this country and the worst part of it is that the masses that are suffering uh from this whole thing so majority of them are still supporting them. They are still backing them. They are still making excuses for them. It's unfortunate. By the time they start mentioning some names, according to what a, a, um, Babajide said, that, okay, if they dare to mention the names of those people, you will see that those pastors or imam or the clerics, as we may call them, uh, their congregation will, con will start coming out to be defending them. Oh, they, they will have something to, to say about it. That is the worst part of it. These are the people you see on the road. You know what that has been said about them. You still want to take selfie with them. You still want to do all manner of things with them. So I don't even know because it's really, it's really frustrating and tiring. Yes, frustrating and tiring because at the end of the day, where do we move? Where do we go from here? Who do we report to? Nobody. Nobody to report to. Everybody will just complain and life goes on. Life moves on. So what do we do? Because as it is, the system that we have is not ready to do anything because not them if you want to go to is it the police that you want to go to or you want to go to the courts or who are you going to report to is it the 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 minister of justice that you are going to go to that you are not going to be hearing a lot of things even be, between the efcc the former efcc chairman magu and the agf attorney general of the federation malami you see what's happened among themselves they were accusing, they were, they were accusation and counter accusations among them. Yeah, saying that, oh, you took money, you did not take money. Is it no embarrassment on its own? Even what you was saying that it's so shameful. A lot of things that, that are happening in this country are so shameful. It's like, it's like normal thing for everybody. 
because nobody to report to no no institution or no agency that you can say okay this agency or this particular sector of the economy that these particular people are really doing the right thing it's the same thing by the time you dig into all of them you find out they do the same thing so where do we turn to the reason why you see most of us we say oh eh, god we do this god we do this the next thing people just start doing is just to start cursing them but some people say oh don't just think that you're going to be there forever of course these people already know that they are not going to be there forever and when people say this it pains me it's just like a you know it's just like a statement of a frustrated person or frustrated people. We do say it because once you don't know where to turn to, you just say, yeah, we know that you're not going to be there forever. So you want to tell me that these people don't know that they're not going to stay there forever. Of course, because they know that they have limited time and they want to do whatever they have to do to get whatever they want to get. Because some people are still on the waiting list to come into that position. So they will do whatever they want to do. So when you are saying, oh, don't just think that you're going to be there forever because those who were there before and... We see that they are not no more there. If really they have done something wrong, then why is it that they are not being probed so that it will serve as a lesson to other people? Because those who are there now, they will know that they are going to live and nobody is going to say anything or do anything to them because it is a government, a party party government, just like a fella said, you know, sang in one of his songs that now party party government. So how can you tell us that a 2.2 billion era was spent on on prayers so that a, a insurgency? I could be defeated. Well, Baba Jide, may your unborn children receive awards and abundant blessings from God for your patriotism and truth in building our nation, Nigeria. I couldn't listen to that aspect last night. I was taken away by sleep. You see, our politicians are the real core of our problems. They come out and say all sorts of nonsense in the public and no one to investigate Sir, you have said it all. This is pure looting and I'm sure your voice among all has been heard and we deem and we demand for justice. We have been demanding for justice for time immemorial and nothing has even come up. It's just story, 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 story. You know, what I've discovered is that we have a lot of problems. You know, it's, uh, every second, every minute, we have problems cropping up. As you are thinking of this one, another one will come. Before you say Jack Robinson, another problem, another situation will just come. You start deliberating on that one. Even the ones that you have even heard about 10 minutes ago, you've forgotten them and you are still talking about the present one. You know, how many people are still remembering this uh, NDDC saga? Mm -hmm. Everybody shouted that time, but now what do we, what do we see? Nothing, and we even heard that uh, they've they've been able to settle it among themselves. You know, there was a time this man was trying to implicate the the lawmakers as well. This uh, the former governor of a uh, Aquaiwam, ah, Aquabio. You know that was when they say, oh, off the mind this and that. They've been able to settle themselves. You know they were trying to tell uh, Aquabio. They yeah, name those people that you were talking about that they received this contract. Up to today, did you hear anything? No, you're not going to hear anything. After that, just even during that time, we heard about uh, Malami and uh, Magu. What do we hear up to today? Nothing. It's going to be the same story upon the same... Uh, one story after the other. You see what happened again. Answers, answers. You know, he's been able to, you know, cover all of those things. Now we are still talking about another one. Every day, one problem, one issue or the other. And before you know it, the rest ones, we don't even talk about them. And that is it. And if you... If you could remember that during the NC, NDDC uh, saga, everybody was like, yes, this is the time. These people are going to be brought to book for where? Nothing. Because they've already studied us. And that was why they were so, they were so, they were taken on our ways and they were surprised the rate at which the people came out, you know, you know, came out in, in, in a, in a strong way, you know, because the whole thing just cut across board and nobody could really hold each other because I mean, between the two parties, APC was trying to say, oh, it was the APDP that sponsored the whole thing. And PDP and some people were saying, oh, it was APC or some people who are who sponsored this uh, hashtag answers. But at this same at some point in time, they now knew that uh, it was an organic uh, anger among the people. And that was why they said the reason why they have been getting away with all of these things is because of the the uh, the way people are not united because people speak different language so because they know by the time we come together as a people we are going to defeat them because the numbers of the people the masses you know are more than their own but they have used a lot of tactics to be able to divide us so that our language will not be the same so during this instance they discovered that and that was why they had to do everything just to stop this uh, protest and we're by now you know as we speak 
one would think, or maybe within their mind, they would think, ah, yes, they've gotten away with them. Don't forget all these people. We know how to manipulate them. If they don't want to hear us, we know the other way around to make sure that they are all subjected to listen to us or to be under us. This issue of uh, poverty they are talking about that we have in this country, it is a deliberate one. Honestly, we don't have business with all these things that we are going through, all this suffering here and there. We don't have business with that. It is a man-made thing for people to just be there. And those are the things that they're using, shutting down people's mouths. You can imagine 2.2 billion naira for what? For prayers to defeat insurgency. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.